Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're here at Quarantine Cruise number five with the man that kind of got this whole thing kicked off. This is my friend Jason Scudelari. What prompted this for well, you, dude? Heck and I, a uh, good buddy of mine, got bored uh, sitting in the house all the time and we were kind of still a little bit paranoid, but we said, hey, why don't we get in our cars, take a cruise and at least get out for an hour. And right. So we did that. Uh, we did that two weeks in a row and got a couple other buddies. We had maybe four or five cars. So me, Heck, and another guy, we're sitting there and we're talking back and forth and we're all, hey, why don't we blow this up? And maybe, you know, we got a couple followers. Let's try to put this on social media. <laughs> and all of a sudden this crazy guy, Patrick from Keystone. Gotta love Patrick. Comes pushing yeah. me away from my own truck to get pictures. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I own the truck. He's all, yeah, I just don't want you in the picture. So he took some pictures and he came up to us. And he's all, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm Patrick. Uh, follow me on this page, Keystone. And I'm like, okay, cool. And he's all, what are you guys talking about? Kind of just hold well, we want to do a bigger cruise we want to maybe push it social media wise he's all can i help yeah we went, yeah that'd be great let's yeah. do this yeah next cruise we had i don't know 35 cars yeah it was raining not a big deal falling cruise we had about 140 cars which is the first one i was on yes and that's when we went wow this is something cool yeah well then ken from classics dailies comes over yeah patrick introduces us he says why don't we team up as four and blow this thing up yeah 1500 cars the next cruise and yep. here we are today yep and now what do you, what do you i mean what do you think today we're gonna have well over 2000 cars i am speculating 22 to 2500. i'm stoked to be a part of this with you guys and, and i'm looking forward to how crazy is today gonna be All right, you guys, so now we're here with my pal Garrett. Garrett runs American Muscle HD. If you haven't heard of American Muscle HD, you probably don't follow the muscle car world on Instagram. So you come to California specifically for the quarantine cruise. Yeah, man, Ken was just like, bring your butt. And I'm like, all right, yeah. well, it's my birthday weekend too. And then I met, you know, I called Doug, first person I called, and I'm like, hey, you guys got anything I can drive? He's like, of course. Let's let them know. Doug works at Superformance. Yeah. Superformance makes Cobras a GT40. So you're rolling in what today? So this is a Mark III Custom Series. It's got a Coyote 5.0 oh, yeah, with a 2.9 Whipple supercharger on it. So what do you think of the insanity that the quarantine cruise has turned into? Man, and the, the quality and caliber of these cars are insane. It's stellar. There's a handful of things in this world that'll bring people together. Music yep. and cars. I agree. Those are the few things. Yep. Everything else, forget about it i agree you know and it just it may not it may not it may not fix anything but in that moment right and Absolutely. that's fine you need just some bliss for a moment I for agree. things to, for something you know to change for a positive life and I that's agree. why i love coming to car meets man you know the car community is a great thing right on dude well thanks for taking yeah. a couple minutes thank you i appreciate I look it man. forward to cruising with you yes today, sir guys. it's gonna Definitely. be fun awesome. all right <laughs> yeah, well, I Hey guys, here with my buddy TJ Russell. I'm sure if you've been following the channel, you've seen TJ and his extremely radical, over the friggin' top Baja 911. Dude, what do you think of this? This is crazy. It goes to show you that everybody's been itching to get out of the house for right. a while. And right. uh, the, car, the car community is cool because you know with everything that's going on right now, what you see here is the widest variety of car culture you've ever seen. Totally agree. Low riders, Hot rods, street rods, off-road, um, import. It's it goes There's to show really you. There's really no yeah, limits. No, no. Really it's, no... it's good to see everybody out and having a good time and yep. and um, kind of not freaking about freaking out about the whole quarantine and and health issues. And it it's just good feeling. It makes you feel like we're back to normal. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Dude, I love it. Couldn't have said it more perfectly myself. Yeah. You guys, that's my buddy TJ. And if you haven't seen the episode on his Baja 911. I highly recommend you go check it out because it's one of the most extreme builds that happened this last year. Thank you. Awesome, thanks TJ. You guys, take care.
Hey guys, I'm here with my buddy Chris Mills. It might be difficult to get us both in the frame because he's just a couple inches taller than me. <laughs> Big son. Chris, I've known for a long time. We've been trying to get him on camera. We finally got him for a second. Give a quick rundown on what your car is. The Mothership. Uh, my car is, the name is the Mothership. It's a 1959 Impala convertible. Uh, I've had the car for about 17 years now. What do you think of this uh, this quarantine cruise? You know, the, the <laughs> what it's turned into. The quarantine cruise is badass, son. <laughs> I know you were telling me about it before, and it yeah. started off with a, you know, a, maybe a couple hundred cars or something like that. And the yeah. last time I came, it was. 1,400 cars, <laughs> and this time, shit, maybe 2,400. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy, amazing, right, bro. Dude? It's amazing, and, and I love that it's every car. You got low riders, you got hot rides, you got low rides, you got grand tours, you got everything, bro, and everybody's yeah. getting along. You got every spectrum from black, white, Asian, yeah. Yeah. you know, Hispanic. Everybody's out here enjoying each other, having fun. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the truth, man. It's 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 one of the things I love so much about our community is, is mm -hmm. If you and I weren't into cars, we might not have met somewhere in life. You know what I mean? Our our paths may not have crossed, but because of the car world, we we don't see color of skin. We don't see what your economic background is. You know, if you're right. rich, if you're poor, whatever it is, we're all into cars, and that's all we're doing is hanging out. That's around what the cars. it's all about, Big yeah. Sean. You know, yeah. I'm a car enthusiast. You're a car enthusiast. You might yeah. drive a little something different than me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I, I, I love them, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you have a love for cars and yep. shit, man. It's like a, a dream come true being out here in Southern California right I now. I love it. Right yeah. on. Thanks for doing this, brother. I Thank you, Sean. It, I appreciate it, brother. Awesome. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Heck. Heck's Jason's partner in the in the creation of this quarantine cruise. Give me the give me the quick rundown. Like I know it's you and Jason that went out for a cruise initially during hardcore quarantine time. Right. Yeah. Jason hit me up one day and said, uh, "Hey, let's take the cars off for a ride." And I don't know how many cars you guys are here now. Oh, Two thousand, maybe. Well, thanks for doing this Absolutely. with us. And mostly, Heck. I, I really appreciate you and Jason. You know, having what. What initially started is, hey, let's go do something because yeah. you're bored out of your minds right. to turning into something that's become a, it's like a movement happening here. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Man. Appreciate it. Dude, it's too much stuff here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little hectic. A little bit. Hey guys, I'm here with my pal Ken. Ken runs Classics Daily. Ken runs Muscle King Show. Ken was at Lucas Oil for years, and Ken is one of my best friends in the entire world at this point. You know, like you said, it started off with a couple guys, right? They're like, hey, let's cruise. Yeah, yes. you'll look down here, right? I mean, it just, I mean, everybody is hanging out together. Yep. Enjoying. Checking so, out each other's cars. Right? Yep. We're here for one reason. Yep, exactly. Because we love cars. Exactly. It's as simple as that, man. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. Can't go too long, Sean, because I can't mess up the culture of, uh, of low riding that I see to my left with some of LA's greatest old heads to my left. So I'm curious, dude, what do you think? You've been, you've been to the second one that had 135 cars, mm -hmm. roughly. You went to the third one mm -hmm. where there's about 500, then the last one, about 1,400. Mm -hmm. And it's been pretty low key for you. Like you've yeah. been able to just be Kevin and all of a sudden now you have to be Kevin Hart again. You know but what, what do you man? think? I, first of all, I think that, I think it's a dope, it's a dope event and opportunity yeah. just for car enthusiasts to simply yeah. be around one another yeah. and converse yeah. and enjoy 
scenery. I mean, ultimately, yeah. if you have a love for cars, then you have a love for people to have a love for cars. So yeah. when people get an opportunity to interact, engage, it's special. And, you know, for me, coming out here is not coming out as Kevin Hart, the, the star or, you know, the the personality it's the guy that loves cars so yeah, you know yeah, yeah. i'm a fan of you more than you're a fan of me in this space and i think uh that's what people are starting to realize yeah. and recognize and the more they do the more it becomes amazing for me and hopefully more amazing for others but yeah. you know this is impromptu this is yeah this is uh uh okay guys we're doing this on said date and now you're looking at something where people from all over are grabbing cars and coming yep. down so yep. Uh, as a guy, you know, who has a group of friends and this is what we love, this is what yep. we hold on to and embrace, I, I, I find a major amount of joy in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other thing, you know, what we've been throwing in this, and this is where I'll, I'll, we'll end it out, is, you know, I, I, I guess I never noticed it before. I go to so many car events, mm -hmm. but a couple weeks ago it hit me on the last cruise with all that's going on in our country right now, with mm -hmm. all the, you know, a lot, a lot of bad stuff going mm -hmm. down, especially in the racial mm -hmm. wars that mm -hmm. happened, you know? And when I'm in the car world, there's none of that present. There's just people that align around that common vision and common passion for the automotive. <laughs> of course. If you're like your buddy Chris into a low rider, mm -hmm. or you muscle cars, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, and it doesn't matter if we're black, white, yes, Hispanic, no whatever divide. it might be. There's, there's no divide. I mean, look, you need, you need the things that act as ammunition to push that narrative and push that conversation. Yeah. So yeah. ultimately when you're around people that are just good people, yeah. then it helps others understand how to be good. So yeah. you gotta be an example. Yep. Uh, you know, I think that what's going on now is sad. I think that racism is disgusting. I think the people that embrace hate are disgusting, yeah. uh, which is why I love and embrace those that do the complete opposite even more. So, yeah. you know, to everybody that comes out to these events, you're walking around, you're having a good time, you're smiling, uh, and more importantly, we're showing people how to be people. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking a couple <laughs> Always, of minutes, man. Kevin. I, Always. I appreciate Always it. Always good to see you guys. Seriously. Uh, Plastic Cup Boys Car Club. That's my shirt. I got a shirt's made. Why is it called Plastic Cup Boys? Look, we are figuring that out. <laughs> right? We are figuring everything out. There's a lot of things that we don't know, and we're trying to figure it out. Today right. was our first meeting as a car club. Uh, and the good news is, uh, out of our car club, only one of the cars are rolling. Everybody else's car uh, yeah, my is in the shop. So the first thing that we learned today is that we got to get everybody's car at the shop. Uh, yeah, so it's good. It's good. It's a good time. Always good talking to you, man. You too, Kevin. Go Thank ahead, you, man. Go back to the culture. Hey guys, you've heard about him a few times. This is my friend Patrick from Keystone Auto. Is that Automotive. hard for you to say, friend? Well, it took a minute, you know? It's, you're more like my, you're, you're my hero. You're we're, my mentor. We're like you're family. the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> beautiful. Hey everybody, I just wanted you guys to know this is my friend Sean Davis from Autotopia LA, and we are here at the Quarantine Cruise 5. So, exactly. We are, we are an automotive distributor to all shops across America. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. this right here, is a cross section of the automotive culture True. that is across the country. Yeah, it's here in Orange County, but people are coming from Arizona. People are coming from Nevada. People are coming from Northern California. People trailered in. There's some yep. stories about what people took to get here today. Absolutely. And this is this is the automotive culture. People have something to get excited about and look forward to and share and interact. That's what this is all about. It's awesome. Yeah. Awesome, brother. Thank you. All right, you guys, that is it for quarantine cruise number five. Truly, truly just a spectacular gathering of wonderful cars, amazing people in a time that's, you know, we're coming back to life, but we're coming out of a really weird time here. And it's really been a joy and a privilege and an honor to be a part of this thing. I hope you guys have had fun watching this and getting to be a part of it with us. Thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later.